Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is a um, demonstration of how to make just uh, regular homemade buttermilk biscuits. For the purpose of the video, I'm measuring everything because I normally don't, but I just want to show you everything that I'm starting with. I got flour, which this particular recipe calls for two cups. Now, they normally wouldn't tell you to measure it like this. However, I'm eyeballing it. So you got one. And two. Okay. And then four teaspoons of baking powder. Take the measuring spoon. Level it. One. Two. Three. Okay, and it also calls for one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. So I've got my one fourth teaspoon. Oops. See, I almost made a mistake not paying attention. So you got one fourth. One fourth, dump that in. And three-fourth teaspoon of salt so I'm not gonna put that much because I kind of feel like that's just gonna be a little bit too much so for my own sake I'm not gonna measure that I'm just gonna take my salt shaker eyeball and shake what I think is enough but it caught the recipe calls for three-fourth teaspoon of salt I got two tablespoons of butter and also two tablespoons of shortening so what you do is just take your hand I'm just doing everything the basic way take your hand and mix everything in there together make sure it's thoroughly incorporated just hands on with everything and you're gonna take your chilled shortening Dump that in there. Oops. I guess I should have took the wrapper off first. <laughs> and you take your butter because I'm using one hand. So y'all excuse me. And that's my little grandbaby down there saying he wants some. So he, grandma can't cook without him. <laughs> so you just dump it in there. Take your hand and you rub 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 to incorporate it i could have cut the butter into little squares for you guys i'm sorry it's kind of impromptu but this is basically what you do rubbing it the shortening and the butter between your fingers to break it up in the flour to incorporate that this is the same way you basically make pie crust or dough so it's like little peas. Um, uh, they call it a mealy type, but I disagree. But I just rub it in there. You got to make sure it's chilled so that your dough is good and stiff. And shortening and everything is chilled. So it can be thoroughly incorporated. Okay. So... Let's make sure all of that is all together. Okay. All right. Now, so they're gonna. What you're gonna do is, they say, make a well, as they put it, and right in the middle. And I didn't have any buttermilk because I don't use it that often, so I just took the one cup of milk, put a little vinegar in it, and you see how it's clabbered. And that gives you instant um, substitution for buttermilk. So you just pour it in. Okay. Now you can use your hand for this. But instead I'm going to use a fork. Which I should have had. Use a fork. And stir it in. 
to your dough form. And it's gonna be sticky. So if you're the kind of cook that don't like to get your hands dirty, this may not be for you. But if you don't mind, then this is it. So stir it until all of the moist and the wet ingredients are incorporated. Y'all get the gist. I'm working it out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both my hands to mix it up and I'll come back and show you the end results. Okay, so here's my dough um, after it's formed. And I got my rolling pin and I don't have a uh, biscuit or a cookie cutter that will work for this. So I'm just using a regular glass wide, kind of wide mouth to cut. So now you don't want to over knead your dough because then your, your biscuits will be tough. So I'm just going to fold this over maybe five or six times so that it's, it's all formed and not wet for me to roll and just turned it over a few times. Just fold it over a few times and you got your dough. So I'm going to roll this out to about two inches thick and I'm not going to make what well, they might be a little bit bigger because I personally prefer rather than putting my biscuits on a cookie sheet, I prefer to put them in my cast iron. I don't know what it is. My grandmother did it, so I do it. I just like them like that. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it out and then I'll show you guys how it comes. So like I said, for demonstration purposes, I'm not making um, the smaller or thinner ones. I just want to make a few to fit in my cast iron. Now, when you take your glass, when you get ready to cut, don't twist. Makes the biscuits tough. So basically, you want to go straight down, press and bring your glass up. Usually start around the edges. Go all the way around. Take, you don't grease it. Just put them in there touching. And normally you take that residual dough that's left around the edges and roll it up and, you know, uh, pat it out again. But I'm not going to do that because. I don't like to have leftovers and I normally use the leftovers to make bread pudding, but nobody in my house really likes it. So <laughs> I uh, end up throwing that away. But like I said, these are for demonstrational purposes, so it's not really a big deal. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I don't know, I might save the residual dough and bake it and make me bread pudding now that I mention it. Um, so these are going to go in a 450 degree oven for roughly about 12 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put them in and I'll show you the end results once they're done.